self-explanatory. I want to highlight this because we talked about it earlier. But if you just think overall, as an umpire, you're going to have to be monitoring the amount of time that every aspect of the game takes and accelerate it where it's needed. I'm not going to spend a whole lot of time on that. <clears throat> All of penalties. Here is where it gets interesting. Captains, you will need to pay the umpire one dollar for every minute that your over rate is above, or oh sorry, that your the length of your innings is above the time that it should have taken. Is it one captain or two captains? Oh, the captain of the bowling team. Right? It goes to the umpire or to the umpire? <laughs> <laughs> to the umpire. <coughs> so it's not out there standing in the sun. Okay. okay. Now here's where you need to pay attention, okay? Nobody miss this. The batting team will be awarded six runs per over per complete over to be bowled after the above respective times have elapsed. What does that mean? If I'm in the 31st over at the two hour, three hour and 30 minute mark, the batting team is going to get an additional 24 runs. Does anybody get the sense that we're really, really serious about speeding these games up? That is a huge penalty to have to pay. It's a gigantic penalty. And let me say this, as an umpire, you have to take everything into consideration. If you're playing an ACAG, for example, and the ball gets hit in the tall grass and people walk around looking for it every five minutes, you have to be jotting that down and looking at the times. First of all, if I'm umpiring and I see it's taking longer than 30 seconds, I would motion to more people, people sitting in the pavilion to say, hey, go help find that ball because the game needs to be moved along. But you're not going to punish the team that is bowling for the fact that you're having a hard time finding the ball. Okay? So it's just another piece of the puzzle that you need to be aware of. Was it positioning? We are really, really late. We're not late, you are slow. <laughs> I'm trying to speed up, y'all keep asking questions. <laughs> this is the, uh, these are the stumps. The crease is here, right? I cannot stand here. Why not? You can't see the no ball properly and all that. Yeah. If I'm doing this, looking down to see that, and then looking up to see what the ball does, biologically, your, 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 uh, your eyes can't focus between distances that quickly. So you stand as far back as it needs to. What I usually say is, until the crease, the popping crease, perfectly bisects the stumps in your view. That's about far enough where you can just kind of glance here and then look there without much trouble. If you're here, you can't see it, okay? I'm gonna really be flying here. <coughs> to set all of this, on the deliver where the batsmen are running, you have to be square of the wickets <coughs> to be able to make a decision. So the ball is hit to the outfield, Long drive to long on, you can just simply walk over and you're in the right position. If the ball is deflected to gully and they steal a bye, or try to steal a bye, then you might have to hurry. But at the same time, you need to be in the correct position. Okay? If one of the batsmen has a runner, which side do you need to stand on? Opposite side. Yeah. I've actually seen this happen. Where runners over here, <laughs> the umpire goes here, and there's an appeal for a run out. You have no idea what happened. You have to be on the opposite side. Uh, please, every ball, make sure that the runner on the non striker's end is grounding his back behind the crease. Okay? It's really embarrassing if a fielder sees it and you don't see it. That happens sometimes. The ball is hit in the air for a catch, you need to do three things at once. Make sure that the runner is grounding his bat when he's running while the, bat, the ball is still in the air. Verify that the catch is taken cleanly. And third is, cross. make sure that you know whether or not they cross. Okay? Again, the square leg umpire needs to be helping you with that. I'm not going to spend any more time on this. Four minutes water breaks, that's it. Excuse me, if it's hot weather, captains can decide if they want to take a break over 10 overs. And I don't mean hot, meaning 75. Yeah. 
Lunch break is 20 minutes. Oh, I'm going to fly through this. Signals. Which side? Are you paying attention? Call them up, please. Go out. Wait, the two things. Call up the name of the umpire. No. <laughs> <laughs> Call them up. Why? And he fires in one of his quicker deliveries. 
and it passes me here, that's absolutely a low ball. Okay? Don't worry about what the bowler typically does or what how long his run-up is. None of that matters. All you're looking at is the delivery itself. Okay? Oh, the second or more bouncer in and over is a no ball. Okay? First one, one for the over. Anything after that is a no ball. And by the way, the first one is above the head of the batsman in a normal standing position, not in his batting position. So if I'm batting like this, you're not looking at it here, you're thinking about it if I was standing straight up. Everybody understand that? Okay. Free hit, tell me everybody knows what free hit is. 